Now, we got something special this morning because Dakota's going to sing one song with the choir and Corbin's going to sing another one. Uh, are we loving this today? All right. There's an anchor for my soul. 
problem doesn't take a PhD. I didn't need a pencil and paper or a fancy calculator. I knew it right from the start. I could do this one in my heart. One, one man, two wooden beams, three nails added up perfectly. It changed them all together. It changed my life forever. One man, two wooden beams, three nails, now and eternally. Please forgiveness times infinity. One plus two plus three equals love to me. There's one equation I can always make sense of How a heart full of a million cents Is cancelled out by none The farther new full substitution Was the only right solution His mercy multiplied Jesus gave his life for mine One man, two and beings, three nails together. It changed my life forever. One man, two wooden beams, three nails, and a eternal deep. Forgiveness times infinity. One plus two plus three equals love for me. You touch the pieces of my soul, sum the parts and make Perfectly, I put them all together. It changed my life forever. One man, two wooden beams, three nails, an eternal deed. Leave forgiveness times infinity. One plus two plus three equals love to me. Equals love. Thank you so much. Everything is working good. We're going to get there, aren't we? All right. I want you to find your Bible open to Revelation chapter 9. And as last Sunday, I said that I was uh, running out of time and I had more to preach on on this subject. Many of you found your way back. I appreciate that. And uh, so with your Bibles open to Revelation chapter 9, we're going to look at the two last verses of that chapter. Uh, I appreciate so much you allowing me the opportunity to preach so much to you. And here we're in the book of Revelation, someday or another, uh, Lord willing, and uh, we're going to finish the whole Bible in one church by one preacher. And uh, I, I, I count that a, an absolute privilege to do that with you. Um, stick around. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to start it all over again. Amen? Amen. All right. But it's been a privilege. Um, I'm looking at a sign back there. I, I'm on. Okay, good. Good, all right? Um, um, a couple of things I want to say. Um, it's not very often that I know what I'm going to preach on the next Sunday. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow afternoon. But next Sunday, uh, gentlemen, I really would love for you to be present. I, I hope that we can sing together. And I'd like to preach on the very subject of dead man walking. Next Sunday, dead man walking. So uh, you come and let's see if we can't uh, make some sense out of that subject. Just this morning, I was reminded that I had heard this, and I looked it up on my little phone, and sure enough, it is a fact. On May 9th, 2018, our governor approved 
driverless cars to be tested on our roads. Now, I teach driver's ed, and I could say a whole lot about this, but the kids that I have behind the steering wheel, if they can't make better decisions than what they do when I'm driving with them, and I'm telling you what, that job surely encourages my prayer life. Right? It doesn't do much for my scalp or my hair growing, okay? Um, but if the kids that I teach driver's ed to can't drive any better than they do, God help us when we get those cars without steering wheels and without foot pedals going down our roads, right? Okay, now I said that to now say this. I believe that every Christian, as on the road, we have to make course corrections. That every Christian needs to be able to look at their own hearts in light of the road map and say, God help me. Any amens out there? And we have said this before, but we know the word says that judgment shall begin at the house of God. And if it begins with us, then what happens to the rest? So I'm preaching to the choir today, and I'm preaching to the preacher, amen? And what we pick up with, as I would like to review just a few points from last Sunday, I want to talk to us about the actual subject of repenting, and we Christians having some course corrections as we journey with Jesus Christ. Out of respect for God's word as we so traditionally do, and I appreciate it, if you would stand to your feet as I read these two verses from Revelation chapter 9, verse 20 and 21. In light of everything that took place in in Revelation chapter 9, in verse 20 and 21, we read these words. But the rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues did not repent of the works of their hands, that they should not worship demons and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and wood, which can neither see nor hear nor walk. And they did not repent of their murders or their sorceries or their sexual immorality or their thefts. I'm going to invite you to have your...